I don't know, man. Um, it's been long overdue that I start um, a channel for my hair. Like, I always talk about hair. I've been talking about hair since I performed words. So, it's only right that I document this journey. I don't know how long uh, I'm going to let it grow, but I keep on saying I'm a journey to wastelands. We're going to see, though, because once you cut your hair, it's kind of like... You don't have to live with hair anymore. So I battle every day with just cutting my hair back off and just going as is. The only thing that really has been keeping me not cutting my hair is it's been cold. And I need something on the back of my neck. So that's what I'm shooting for. So we're going we gonna to check this out. <clears throat> I cut my hair off um, December 31st, 2018, right before it turned to midnight so I was probably doing it at like 11 45 at night and uh, in my house me and my boyfriend had just left church and um, the pastor said let go of anything that you think is holding you down and at the time y'all my hair was holding me down because for my birthday my 23rd birthday last year I went to a Dominican hair salon and got a press out and my hair like it's curly, but it don't need nothing extra, no extra heat or none of that to get straight because it's like pseudo thick. It's not even thick hair for real. It just looks thick, but it's very manageable when you get like that. Anyway, this lady, I don't know who the hell she thought I was. Um, She like extra prim pressed my hair. And you know me, I just wore it like that for like a month uh, because... It was cool and I hadn't fluttered my hair. I had just cut my hair. I had cut my hair and it had just grew back. Because I cut my hair in 2017 too. Like December 28th, 2017. I cut it in the bow cut. Yeah, G. So I did that. And um, when it was time for me to wash my, my flutter out, all of my hair was heat damaged. Like from the root to the tip. On most of my head. Like 75% of my head. And it pissed me off. I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed. Because I'm like, I just grew my hair out. It was just extremely healthy. I didn't find her, refine my hair, not none of this, the whole month that I had it straight. And for it to be heat damaged like that after one, one sweater, you know, obviously she did something wrong. You know, I've heard a lot of stories about what they do at Dominican hair salons. I heard they put a little bit of perm in the shampoo. I wouldn't put nothing past none of that because I'm telling you, after she shampooed my hair, my hair follicles was really, really thin. And I'm like, hmm, why does my hair feel so dead right now? And But you know what? I just didn't even really like pay attention to it the way I did because I'm like, I'm up in here. I'm getting my hair done. It's getting flat ironed. That's what's about to happen. But um, in retrospect, I will never get my hair done on a Dominican hair salon again because they have me so messed up. I could flat iron my hair and get it straight. I was just being... I didn't have the time to flat iron my own hair, and I honestly didn't have flat irons because I didn't have hair for a while, and I don't flat iron my hair. So, there's that. <clears throat> Destroyed me. Um, and I was gonna, I was gonna grow it out, though. I was gonna just be like, you know what? I'm not gonna cut my hair again. I just cut my hair, just grew back. I was kind of enjoying the length. It got to almost, it was getting to, like, the middle of my back. Um, in the back. And it, it was getting pretty long. But anyway. Um, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna let it grow out. So I bought me like $80 worth of like hair care products. And, you know, I was I wore a twist for like, so when I flattered my hair, I wore a twist from like October to November. Well, through November and like the last couple weeks of December, um, I took my hair down and I'm like, I just can't do this anymore. Like, I cannot have damaged hair. Now that I know what healthy hair looks like, what it feels like, what it acts like, the damage is out for me. And so, I went to church. I had bought scissors like two weeks prior to me cutting my hair. And I'm like, oh, I'm going to just cut my ends, you know, because I just bought all that hair care products. It was like $100 worth of products, y'all. That's a lot. But anyway, um, I'm like, I'm not going to cut my hair, but I'm going to just keep these on dead just in case. Well, two weeks later, I was like, after church, I'm like, you know what? That message was in my heart. God told me to let stuff to go that was holding me back. That hair was holding me back. So I went home, cut it all off. Cut it all off. It was so liberating. It was like one of the most exciting things I've done. My boyfriend um, massaged my head for like 
been telling me he wants to sleep that night. Uh, he was in love with it. The next day, I went and got it cut, shaved all the way down so that I could start growing my waves in. I was rocking waves for <clears throat> a couple months. Um, I dyed my hair once. That was super fun. I believe she and dyed it. Just some stuff that I've never done to my hair before that I was ready to do. I'm like, I'm 23 years old. I've never really dyed my hair. I've never bleached it. I've never done this and this. I'm going to do this with this short hair. So I bleached it myself in my bathroom. It came out pretty okay. Um, I put some fuchsia color on it. It was cute for a while, but I only dyed my hair once because I'm not a big person of, oh, I got to keep this look. I got to keep this up. I'm not a big on... Um, on like appearance maintenance like I'm not that type of girl you know that's not a big thing for me so once that she started growing out I was like all right it's time to cut this out so I cut it really really low my last haircut was right before Devorian's birthday so it might have been like May his birthday's on the 6th so I probably got my haircut on the 4th or 5th and that was my last haircut. Since then, here we at uh, about three inches. Me and my cousin just measured my hair last night. And yeah, we're gonna be on this healthy hair journey, y'all. <laughs> so thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope that y'all, you know, stay with me. I'm just a pretty goofy person, so we're gonna be on here talking about like makeup or not makeup, hair and stuff. But um. You know, um, I could just let y'all know how well I am where I am. You know, <laughs> people be wanting to know. So. I'll give y'all a little bit of that. <laughs> yeah. So thanks for tuning in. This is episode one of one. And um, stay tuned. Alright, I'm out. It's pretty awkward, but...